Meet Sam. He's got a heart of gold and a bit more around the waist. Sam's life is a series of awkward encounters with mirrors and scales, and he's no stranger to the occasional wardrobe malfunction. On one uneventful afternoon, he tried to squeeze into his high school jeans only to realize they were never going to fit again. Sam loves food, but sometimes food seems to have a love-hate relationship with him. Sam's a bookkeeper who loves to work from home, but the real reason is subconsciously he's avoiding any kind of interaction with people because of his traumatic childhood dealing with bullies. Every morning, Sam starts his day with a promise. Today, I'm gonna eat healthy. But by noon, he finds himself knee deep in a bag of chips. It's not that he doesn't try, he does. He's joined gyms, bought diet books, and even attempted some questionable detoxes suggested by shady celebrities. Yet nothing seems to stick, except for those damn calories. And every time he sees his reflection, he feels a pang of disappointment. But Sam is more than his weight. He's funny, caring, and always ready to lend a hand to help an old woman cross a road, or if it's to reach for a snack on the top shelf. And this is Lily, a girl who's light as a feather and not by choice. For Lily, food is the enemy. Each meal is a battleground and every bite is a struggle. She spends hours counting calories, weighing portions, and reading labels. Her friends joke that she could be a nutritionist, but for Lily, it's no laughing matter. Her reflection is her worst critic, always pointing out flaws that no one else sees. She's constantly cold, often dizzy, and always tired. But behind those tired eyes is a spark, a desire to be free from the chains of her own causing. Lily is a graphic designer who also loves to work from home. This way, she can be free from the eyes of judgment. After a lot of courage, they decide to do something about their insecurities, and their paths cross in the most unexpected place, a support group for people with eating disorders. It's awkward at first. Sam feels out of place among the slender figures, while Lily feels judged by the eyes around her. But as they share their stories, they find a strange comfort in each other's presence. Sam's humor lightens the mood, and Lily's honesty touches hearts. They realize they're not alone in their struggles, and a spark of hope ignites. At first, it's all about polite smiles and shared glances. They often steal a quick peek and end up getting caught. Their shyness gets to them and they quickly look away, sometimes at the floor or the ceiling. Sam cracks a joke about his latest diet disaster, and Lily can't help but laugh. As time passes, the distance dwindles. They start sitting next to each other during sessions, and soon, their conversations extend beyond the group. They talk about everything, their childhood, their interests, their fears, their dreams, and their endless battle with food. It's not just therapy anymore, it's friendship. And for the first time in a long, long time, they feel a bit lighter. Outside the group, Sam and Lily's bond grows stronger. They text each other constantly, sharing silly memes and words of encouragement. They start hanging out, exploring new places, and trying new things. Even though people find them to be an odd pair, it doesn't bother them. They keep going strong. Sam introduces Lily to the joys of comfort food, while Lily shows Sam the beauty of mindful eating. They challenge each other in the best ways, pushing boundaries and breaking old habits. It's not always easy, but together they make progress. Yet their personal demons are never too far behind. Sam's attempts at dieting often end in late night binges, and Lily's efforts to eat more are met with anxiety and guilt. There are days when Sam feels like giving up, and nights when Lily cries herself to sleep. But through it all, they have each other. In a moment of pure joy, they decide to take a day off from their worries and just live. They visit an amusement park, ride the roller coasters, and indulge in cotton candy and ice cream. For a few blissful hours, they forget about calories and scales. They laugh, scream, and feel more alive than ever. And in those moments, they see a glimpse of what life could be like if they let go of their insecurities. But acceptance isn't easy, and their insecurities soon drive a wedge between them. An innocent comment about food turns into a heated argument. 
Sam feels judged and Lily feels misunderstood. Harsh words are exchanged and they both walk away feeling hurt. As time passes, they fall under the same trap they were in for all these years. Sam binges on food and Lily eats nothing but her insecurities. As much as they would hate to admit it, they missed each other. They missed the fact they brought the best out of each other. And as it turns out, they realize that they need to confront their deepest fears and insecurities. Sam realizes he's been using food as a shield, and Lily understands she's been letting her disorder define her. In their time apart, Sam and Lily find the strength to fight their battles head on. Sam joins a fitness group, not to lose weight, but to feel healthier and happier. He starts enjoying physical activities and finds a sense of community. Lily goes to therapy, facing her fears and learning to embrace herself as she is. She begins to see food as nourishment, not the enemy. It's a slow and painful process, but step by step, they make progress. They start to accept themselves, flaws and all. As they begin to accept themselves, they realize there is a big gaping hole in their lives. What is the point of all this progress if you can't share it with the people you love? And when they meet again, it's with a new understanding and a deeper love. They apologize for the hurtful words, forgive each other, and promise to be more understanding. Sam tells Lily that he loves her, not despite her struggles, but because of them. Lily tells Sam that she admires his strength and humor, and that he makes her feel beautiful. They realize that to truly love someone else, you first have to love yourself. And in that moment, they knew they've found something special. In the end, Sam and Lily learn that to truly love someone else, you first have to love yourself. Their journey wasn't easy, but it was worth it. They continue to support each other, facing challenges together and celebrating victories. They know there will be tough days ahead, but they also know they're not alone. And that makes all the difference. This is a story about love, acceptance, and the courage to embrace who you are because sometimes the hardest person to accept is yourself. If you enjoyed this story, like, share, and subscribe for more tales of love and life.